بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آه تم بحمد الله اليوم التوقيع على اتفاقية آه إدارة آه الفندق في آه المدينة الرياضية مع ميلينيا وأيضا إدارة آه الشقق الفندقية وطبعا الفندق يتكون من آه 230 غرفة وهناك 60 شقة فندقية ونأمل أن يكون هذه بداية لإدارة المدينة الرياضية اللي حتستقبل الألعاب الشاطئية الأسيوية في ديسمبر من هذا العام إن شاء الله سعدنا صباح اليوم بحضور حفل توقيع اتفاقية المشغل بين شركة عمران وشركة ملينيوم وطبعا مشغل مهم جدا في هذه المرحلة وإحنا نستعد لاستضافة الدورة الشاطئية الثانية في مسقط خلال شهر ديسمبر في 2010 وأعتقد أن أيضا وجود المشغل معنا الآن في المراحل الهامة من تجهيز هذا المشروع مشروع المدينة الرياضية بالمصنعة يعطينا أيضا ويعطي القائمين على العمل ثقة في ان شاء الله الاستعداد التام لاستقبال 14 فريق من دول اسيا ان شاء الله في ديسمبر 2010 ان الجميع التوفيق ان شاء الله طبعا عمان من الدول الهامه بالنسبه لنا خصوصا في منطقه الشرق الاوسط ونتمنى ان شاء الله ان تكون هذه بدايه دخول شركه الملينيوم في سلطنه عمان ومنها نتوقع ان تكبر الشركه في عمان مع شراكتنا مع الاخوان في شركه عمران ووزاره السياحه ان شاء الله The project has two distinct uh, phases, uh, pre and post games. Obviously the games are going to attract a lot of media attention and, and uh, will expose Masana and Oman generally uh, to the international audience. Uh, after the games, the, the hotel and the apartments will seek to bring in uh, tourism and leisure uh, travel to, to Masana, uh, to the resort. Uh, it, it's obviously going to be a, a challenge creating a new destination, but that's part of why uh, we have brought in an international operator that will be capable of doing that. Uh, the idea behind tourism generally in Oman is to create employment and hence that has always been the focus. It's also to help the local community in benefiting from the project and all of our CSR initiatives are geared towards that. I think uh, without doubt this is an extremely challenging but very interesting project to work on. It's time bound, so there's no room uh, for us to negotiate when the project will be delivered. Uh, it's an international project, so there will be people from all over Asia visiting during the games and all over the world after the games visiting. And so the quality standards have to be extremely high uh, fitting a project of, of this size. It also poses challenges in terms of how we manage the legacy aspects. What happens after the games? How do you ensure there's always activity, entertainment, reasons to come here for families from Oman and, and beyond? If we look at schedules, then we are on target at the moment. Likewise, quality is being very well managed. We do face challenges. There are parts that we've had to rework. There have been parts where we've had to redesign because while on paper it looked good, in reality it didn't match what we wanted. Um, and so nothing is perfect from the start. There, there are lots of uh, things that we've had to look at again. Uh, but I think because time is of the essence, it forces you to take decisions quickly and just execute what makes sense. And I think that's been uh, the delight of working on a project of, of this size. We have just under 2,000 workers at the moment, so that poses a, a responsibility of managing that large number of, of people in, in sometimes very tricky, very hazardous situations. Uh, but I think it's been a, a fantastic ride so far. Uh, it's not over. We still have many more months of challenges. Finishing brings up its own uh, risks and issues. Uh, so we're not there yet. And, uh, I hope in a few months we'll look back on what has been a, a great ride and a fantastic journey.
This is the Marina apartment building. It is a long building, it's 170 meter long. It is almost completed now, 85% completed. As you can see, the building is, the finishing from the outside is started. The paint is there, the windows is installed, the retail uh, area doors are installed, and even the finishing from inside, as we, we will see later, it, it, is, it is done. The building has 74 apartments, 30 duplex, 16 one bed, and 28 studio. It also has 1,600 square meter of multi-purpose area on the ground floor. This is one of the duplex apartment. The total area of this apartment is 150 square meter. It consists of a sitting area, a nice balcony facing the marina, a kitchen, and two bedrooms upstairs. We are now in the master bedroom. The master bedroom is facing the marina. It has also a balcony. This is the other room. The other room is bigger in size, but it's facing the land. 